Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. All eyes today would be focused on the proceedings in Lok Sabha where there is going to be both a debate as well as a vote on the FDI in multi-brand retail. The hope is that uh, the Bahujan Samaj party leader uh, Mayawati has given some hint that she could support uh, this particular vote and uh, that could actually provide a short term trigger to the market but this is something that is not very clear at this point of time. And as the market has already run up for the past few days, in case there is a negative development, uh, there could be a quick reaction in the market. Uh, talking about the global markets, US markets were marginally down about 0 0.4 to 0.5% as we had some negative tick on the uh, non-ISM manufacturing data for the month of November. It was a sharp contraction. Also, there are contradictory statements coming out from Republicans on the resolution of the fiscal cliff. Uh, as far as European markets are concerned, they were marginally up and uh, the important thing to watch out for is the terms that the Greece has set for the bond buyback uh, plan uh, to the tune of about $10 billion. And when we look at the Asian markets today, most of them are soft and Japan is reacting to the negative uh, auto sales number for the month of November. So all those uh, companies like Toyota, Honda, all are showing negative tick in today's market. Uh, back home, our markets have been uh, taking a pause and uh, because of this entire development, uh, the market could remain a bit uh, cautious. And in terms of flows, the FIs were net biased to the tune of almost about 310 odd crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 348 crore. On that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through important ideas uh, and strategies for the FNO markets. Good morning friends. Let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, uh, we have seen that market in yesterday's trade have traded in uh, has traded in a very narrow range. But in spite of that, we have seen some long positions been accumulated in the market, and we have seen that the PCR ratio has uh, decreased marginally from 1.11 to 1.10, but still it's into the comfortable zone. Talking about the implied volatility, friends, what we have seen is that uh, implied volatility has increased, uh, say, by around 50 to 100, 150 basis point, which is purely because we have an event lying today as well as tomorrow that is uh, voting in the parliament with regards to the FDI in retail. So unless and until uh, if a, unless and until this event is taken off, market would continue to remain uncertain. On the options front, there is not uh, much change in the activity. But yes, we have a uh, new entrant on the call side. That's a 6,200 call option. So the activity is slowly been getting distributed on the call side. We have 6,000 as well as 6,100 call option seeing a good activity. Whereas 5,900 call as well as put option has seen a good activity followed by 5,800 and 5,500 put option. So to be precise, uh, if we have a dip in the market, probably 5,830 which is the weekly UF would act as a good support for the market. And as I've said, that market would remain uncertain un unless, this, uh, unless this event is taken off. From intraday perspective, uh, we have rec uh, recommended two. Uh, we have recommended three stocks. ABB is looking positive. One can maintain a stop loss of 713 rupees 55 paisa. Gale is also looking positive. One can maintain a support of 346 rupees 05 paisa. And Z Entertainment is looking positive, so one can maintain a stop loss of 198 rupees 15 paisa. Thank you. Friends, here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. Uh, Reliance Industries. Uh, there are some positive news, and the oil ministry is set to approve the. Uh, investment by Reliance in KGD6 Basin, uh, which is going to develop the uh, oil and gas fields uh, in the current year, which is uh, definitely a big positive for Reliance. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 787 and a target of about 828 to about 844. CSC uh, is likely to hike the power in the West Bengal for the third time by 6 paise after getting the clearance from the West Bengal Electricity Regulatory Commission. And this is positive for CESC, one can go long there with a stop loss of 309 and a target of about 325 to 331. Also friends, uh, in case the uh, FDI in retail is passed by the parliament, then obviously it's going to be a big positive for uh, CESC because it also has a retail arm in the form of Spencer. So you have a you know, double positive uh, benefits uh, in case of positive development. Jayaprakas Associates, uh, there are positive news that it has got a final forest approval for a coal project. Also, uh, they are in talks uh, to the uh, Aditya Birla group for the sale of cement units uh, in, in two places. Uh, so there is going to be a good amount of positive action in Jayaprakas. One can go long there with a stop loss of 95.5 and a target of about 100 to about 103. 
and coal india there are positive news and uh, there are uh, expectations that the company will be able to fetch a higher pricing for the coal uh, to the tune of about 12 percent also it has got a clearance uh, for few mines over the next few months so both the news are positive one can go long on coal india with a stop loss of about 359 and a target of about 378 to 384 and in case of united phosphorus there are indications that uh, the penalty levied by the competition commission of india to the tune of about 252 crore in april could be uh, waived off and this is going to be a big positive for united phosphorus so one can go long there with a stop loss of 122 and a target of about 129 to 131 in case of uh, airline companies, there are positive news as IOC has cut the ATF prices by almost 695 rupees per kiloliter. Also, Jet Airways is likely to raise close to about 1600 crore by uh, sale of stake to Etihad. So, one can go long on Jet Airways with a stop loss of 545 and a target of about 7, 573 to 583. In case of SR Oil, uh, there are news that the company is going to set up a third coal-based methane project in West Bengal. So one can go long on SR Oil with a stop loss of 70 rupees and a target of about 74 to 75. That's it from all of us friends. Have a nice trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.